I would argue, and you're seeing it through the box, that one of the best ways of communication about these sustainable initiatives is through the web. The next page I've asked Tom to look at or show you are some very recent photos of World Environment Day. Can I just stop you for one sec? Go ahead. Uh, in, in, a, in the true, true spirit of actually opening it, up, opening it up now, can you please just send me the link to that particular lot? I can. This is obviously how we discuss these issues. We've been talking every week since August last year and just throwing ideas around, firing links at each other, giving ourselves something to think about for the next week, and then going on from there. So if you wouldn't mind firing me the correct link. Okay, thank you. I think one of the best things that motivates me about <laughs> World Environment Day is the fact that it was launched back during a conference on development in Stockholm. It was one of the very first environmental conferences that expressly stated that to protect the natural environment, you had to include the cultural environment. What we've created in this group called World Environment Day are a collection of photos from around the world that depict environmental conservation, low carbon lifestyles, and official events. And Tom, if you want to zero in on some of the photos and show the folks, please do. Oh, I'm always a step ahead of you, Ron. <laughs> Okay, here's the meat market. I think I recognize that guy. And please, if there's any of these photos as I'm zooming through that you want to have a look at, please yell out and I'll bring them up. Yep, no worries. Uh, lots and lots. And in the set that we present later on, we'll show you a whole bunch of what we've been doing. back with you. Okay. Uh, let me briefly sum up. While a lot of this is a nice horse and pony show that is a, a wonderful demonstration of high tech, it's not just about the technology. It's, it's about getting your money's worth and it's about using a new mindset. And that mindset is not simply about broadcasting a message but about co-creating and collaborating. This is Web 2.0. This is the new type of collaboration. And I would argue this is one of the best ways to interact with youth, you know, the under 20 crowd, the people who take this for granted. You know, I don't know about you, but you know, I'm not 20, and a lot of the ideas and the talk about digital natives kind of scares me, or scares me not in the, in the uh, horror show mode, but just making me recognize there is a generation gap and it's our duty to bridge it and to make every possibility of taking our lessons and sharing it with the next generation. I'd also point out that I've been surfing the web and I've been looking at a number of New Zealand websites and making contact. I had a very good interaction with uh, the Ministry of Environment. They have a whole forum, an online discussion forum about World Environment Day and I've been participating this week. I've also been looking at the Otago Polytechnic website and I can't tell you how much I resonate with their message that promotes their program that the mind values most what it learns firsthand. Immersion learning is wonderful. You know, we can show you photos that other people took or that were taken off of Britannica. But if we can be producing this, if we can be showing these things, I think there is incredible value in, in articulating that type of first-hand immersion. If we can also create that bridge and invite the visitors, the people who come to Queenstown, the people who come to Otago for a, a, a brief visit, and to say, here's how we see that you can interact, and if you have other ideas, bring them on. We'd like to engage with you. That, to me, is also the way forward. You know, boiling it down, it's all about communicating sustainability. And the new websites are going to be websites like Flickr that have new content every day. It's not going to be a website. I mean, I love uh, West Coast New Zealand, and they have a beautiful website. But it hasn't been updated since I visited. So content cannot be static. 
other big lesson here, I think it's very apparent for, for all of you there in the room, you know, knowledge needs to be inclusive, not exclusive. How do we bring people into the picture? How do we bring people into the groups that are working towards sustainability? Another big point, and I think we're seeing it here, Web 2.0 is showing, not telling. It's here, this is what we're doing. So my question for you folks, what's next? Thank you. Thank you, Vaughn.